Welcome back, Faith Warriors of God. Faith Warrior and Brother checking right back in with you with this little mini series titled It's Either Jesus or Nothing. This is the last chapter of this little mini series. And you know what? It is either Jesus or nothing. Without Jesus, we have no hope, we have no future, we have no victory. We, we will still be in our sins, we'll be on our way to hell. Uh, we will be separated from God. But with Jesus, we have victory. We have triumph. Hallelujah. We have forgiveness of sins. We have forgiveness. We have grace. We have compassion. And we have eternal life. We need Jesus. I'm going to say it again. We need Jesus in our life. But we have to believe who Jesus is. We have to believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God because he is the Son of God. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come to the Father but by him. He is the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. He is the first and the last, the beginning and the end. He is he is and he was and he is to come hallelujah he's still alive he's not dead he's still alive he was crucified and he was resurrected on the third day for your justification hallelujah he can save you he's still available today repent believe in the gospel turn away from your idols don't bow down to any images bow down to god the invisible God bowed out to him who made the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. Let's jump in back into the word of God. Let's go to the book of 1 John chapter 5 and we're going to read verses 4 and 5. This is what the Bible says. Okay, we're still dealing with Jesus Christ being the son of God because he is the son of God. He is the son of God. I see what it says. New King James Version. If you want to follow along, I always encourage you to follow along with me so you can see the word of God for yourself. First John chapter five, verses four through five. And it says, for whatever is born of God overcomes the world. What does born of God mean? Born of God mean that you have experienced a new birth. You believe that Jesus Christ is your savior and God acknowledges that from his throne and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son cleanses you from all your sins. The Holy Ghost becomes a part of your life and you become a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. A sinful nature that controlled you no longer controls you. You are now led by the spirit of the living God, which leads in God guide you unto all truth you have been born of god you are not the same salvation has brought that change in your life so it said for whatever is born of god overcomes the world and this is a victory that overcomes the world even our faith who is he who overcomes the world but he who believes that jesus is the son of god wow so we have to believe that jesus christ is the son of God because he is the son of God. He is the son of the living God and we have to trust in Jesus Christ as our savior if we want salvation, if we want eternal life, if we want to be reconciled with God because the Bible says it is your sins that has separated you from your God so that he will not hear you. So if we believe in Jesus Christ who was a sacrifice for our sins, therefore we can be made one with God because we believe in Jesus Christ whom God has sent. And therefore if we believe in Jesus Christ whom God has sent, we shall be saved. But the Bible said, if you shall confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the mouth, confession has been made unto salvation, and with your heart, you now believeth unto righteousness. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is still available for you today. If you are in your sins right now, you can overcome the world. You can be saved, but you got to believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ. You got to believe everything that the Bible says about Jesus Christ to be saved. If you deny that he is the son of God, you cannot be saved. If you deny in his resurrection, if you deny in his, in his virgin birth, if you deny um, that he was a sacrifice for your sins, you cannot be saved. Many people don't believe that he's the son of God. They don't. Salvation is through God, through his son. It is through his son. We must trust in God. We must believe in Jesus Christ. He is our salvation. He is our hope. Hallelujah. One day, we're going to die. We're going to die one day. If the rapture don't take place, we will die. 
Make sure you have your life right with God. Make sure you have your right, your life right. You don't know when is your time to come. You don't know when your time is coming that you're going to pass away. Take a look at this. I want to show you this. You see this? You see this? You see all these graves? Look at all these graves, man. One day, one day, we're going to be in one of these. Our body going to be there. But our soul is either going to be in heaven or in hell. And the question you're going to have to ask yourself is this. Did you believe in Jesus Christ as the son of God? Did you believe on him like the scripture says? If you did not believe in Jesus Christ as the scripture says, according to the Bible, you will perish. But if you believe in Jesus Christ like the scripture says, if the rapture don't take place, you will be in the grave, but your soul will be in heaven. This is real stuff right here. This is real. I want to show you all these graves. I want to show you all this stuff. Because this is real stuff. This is not a game. This is serious. Very, very serious. Get your life together right now. No sin in this world is worth you going to hell over. We're going to be in here one day, faith warriors. We're going to be in the grave one day. Make sure your life is right with God. So when you do end up in the grave, you will be in the presence of the Lord and not in eternal darkness. I just wanted to share that with you because it's either Jesus or nothing. He paid the ultimate price for your sins to give you hope, to give you a future. He did that for you because if you keep living and he ain't came back to gather his people yet, we're going to die. It's appointed unto man to die. And after that, it's a judgment. The only way you're going to not see death if he comes back and rapture you. But if you are in your sins right now, if you die in your sins, you're going to be eternally separated from God in hell. But God said, it's not my will that anyone shall perish, but that all comes to repentance. So I plead with you right now in the name of Jesus Christ, please ask God to forgive you of your sins. Please repent, repent while you got life in your body. Repent right now. Believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ like the scripture says. Please, there is hope for you. There is hope. Believe in Jesus Christ as the son of God. It's either Jesus or nothing. If you don't have Jesus in your life, you are lost and you will be condemned. God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but through his son, the world can be saved. But if you die in your sins, you will be condemned. So why you got a chance right now? Why you got a chance right now? Get your life together. Believe in Jesus Christ. He is your sacrifice. He is. He is the prophesied Messiah. He was the one that was prophesied about. He is the anointed one. He is the Christ. He fulfilled all of the prophecies. Trust in him for your salvation. Believe in him. Let him live through you. Hallelujah. Please, please serve God while you got a chance. 
We not gonna live here forever. It's gonna come a day when it's gonna be time for you to die. Make sure that you are right. Please, believe in Jesus Christ. Turn from your sins. Don't continue living in sin and rebellion against God. Because you're going to have to answer for that. Trust in God with all of your heart. And lean not into your own understanding. In all of your ways, acknowledge the Lord. And he will direct thy paths. He will lead you and guide you by his spirit. But you got to give him a try. Believe on Jesus Christ. You have tried every single thing. You have tried everything else in the world. And you've seen that it's not working. You have tried to probably live right without God. And you see that it's not working. You need God. Our strength is not enough. You need God in your life. You need God. Serve Jesus now. Serve him now. Please serve him now. Jesus or nothing. It's either Jesus or nothing. If you reject Jesus, you have no hope. But if you accept Jesus and believe in Jesus and repent, you have all the hope that you ever would need. It's either Jesus or nothing. There is no other way to God. He is the only way. There ain't no shortcuts. There ain't no long cuts. There ain't no scenic routes. It's Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is that way. He can help you get some get right. That darkness that you're walking in, he can shine his light. That addiction that you're in, he's ready to break it. He's ready to break those chains. That sin and that's weighing you down. He's ready to lift those sins up off you. That bad attitude or that, that lust problem that you have. He's ready to help you with that. The fornication problem. He's ready to help you with that. The adultery problem. He's ready to forgive you of that. The profanity problem. He's ready to forgive you for that. The drinking problem. The drug problem. He's ready to forgive you. If you have hatred in your heart, he's ready to forgive you. Even if you have took somebody's life, he's ready to forgive you. He's ready. Get your life together now. Believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. He's the only hope that we have. He is the hero of the world. He is the hero. And he don't wear a cape. He's clothed with majesty. He is clothed with righteousness. He is clothed with holiness. He is clothed with grace and forgiveness. And he is ready to forgive you. Turn to God and believe in him with all of your heart. Because one day we're going to be in one of these graves. Get your life together while you're living now. So that when you do die, you will see God in peace. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord God, we thank you for your mercy. And your compassion, we ask you, Lord God, if there's any sin in us right now, Lord God, we ask you to forgive us of it and cleanse us from it, Lord God. Make us right in you, Lord God. Those that are listening to this, Lord God, get them the mind to be saved. Get them the mind to want to serve you. Get them the mind to want to believe in you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Those that are lost in the world, Lord God, let your word find them that they may accept your word and repent of their sins and believe in you. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God, for hearing us, for we know that you always hear us. In your son, Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, faith warriors, I love each and every one of you. Until next time, faith warriors, until next time, let's continue to fight the good fight of faith and let us lay hold onto eternal life. Jesus forever. Bye-bye.